We're here talking with Carolyn Golan, who happens to have a very interesting occupation, or one of many occupations. She's a cat blogger. Could you tell us about blogging? Yes, absolutely. I have a blog called RomeoTheCat.com. Actually, I have several blogs, but that's my main blog. And I started it a couple of years ago um, in order to raise money and awareness for animal rescues, specifically cat rescues. And it's a cat humor blog, and um, I have quite a large readership, and people come to talk about their cats and and um, commiserate with the good thing or the you know the challenges with cats and also um, talk about the wonderful things about owning a cat too. Um, all of the sponsorship money of my blog goes to Animal Rescue and for the last two years I've been raising money and I've raised about $50,000 so far so it's been really a great experience. Now tell us a little bit about, about Romeo. Romeo is a Persian. He's a rescued Persian. He's eight years old now, but we got him when he was about two uh, from a Persian rescue in Ohio. Uh, we learned that he had actually been um, taken to a shelter twice before we um, rescued him from the, uh, the animal rescue. And I'm convinced that it's because he had um, litter box issues, which is a huge reason that cats are relinquished to shelters. Um, and so actually earlier this year, Romeo and I launched a new project called the thehappylitterbox.com, which is all about helping cat owners find solutions to their litter box issues. We really want to make sure that we can keep uh, more cats out of shelters and give those cat parents solutions to those problems because they can be solved with a little work and, and patience. It's more about adapting your behavior to the yes, cat absolutely. and understanding the cat's behavior yes. to make the cat happy. Yes. There's always a reason. There's always a reason why a cat's not doing what you want them to do. And it's just figuring out what that is. And they're all unique. They they all have their own preferences and hot buttons and so you know it takes a little bit of time to look into it, try different solutions, but ultimately um, you know most cat behaviorists and vets will tell you that you know there is a solution. You just have to work hard enough to find it. Tell us a little bit about the cat blogging community. Oh gosh, it's, it, it surprises a lot of people who aren't in the cat blogging community that there are literally thousands of cat blogs out there. People blogging about their cats. Um, all topics from litter box issues to rescue to um, funny cat stories to I mean a lot of people are familiar with the LOL cats um, and the I has cheeseburger network so you know it's a very very supportive community of people who are like-minded they all care about cats they want to help cats and they want to share stories about their own cats so it's a very uh, supportive and dynamic community so someone could post a question to your blog and in, in a matter of moments they could have all sorts of answers. Oh yeah, yeah, that's very true. Um, I think that people like to talk about the challenges and the and the rewards that they have of cat ownership, and so I think everybody really um, appreciates being able to have that community available to them. And if they wanted to blog you, how would they do that? that they can uh, visit RomeoTheCat.com, or they could email me at Caroline at RomeoTheCat.com, and I can tell them anything they want to know. Well, thanks for taking the time. Thank you very much.